and we keep mixing it until it's nice and soft and elastic. See, it's still a little bit loose, so I add a little bit more water. Now, you can see it's starting to come together a little bit more. And when you knead it, you knead with this part of your hand. Some of you who are um, allergic to gluten, you can do this with gluten free flour. I've done it before. I don't remember if I added something else. You just go online and see how you can adapt it for so that it's gluten free, but I know you can do it. And I have done it and it turned out nice. I just did it for a friend who was allergic to gluten once. Right, now you can see that it's starting to come together. This is where I'd put it on the table now. And we just mix. Like this until it starts to come together a bit. Probably for about five minutes. If you feel at this point that you might need a bit more water, you can add a little bit more. But I don't think I do. I think if I keep doing this, it will be fine. Right, so you can see that it's coming together and getting smoother. And you can see that I'm kneading with this part. Remember, my hands have been washed, so they're nice and clean. I hope you all had a nice Easter. Do you remember how to say Happy Easter in Italian? Buona Pasqua. Buona means good, and Pasqua means Easter. Okay, so... You can do that for a little bit longer, but basically, see how it's a lot smoother? I don't have, I don't want you to sit here watching me do this for another five minutes, but I will just keep kneading that just a tiny little bit longer, then cover it in cling wrap, and then let it set for about half an hour. So I'm going to cover it with cling wrap now, and leave it for half an hour, and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, ciao. Ciao ragazzi.